we all know that vanilla is like having its moment, its year, its day, its era, okay? Everybody wants some vanilla in their fragrance, but not everybody wants to smell like a dessert. No one wants to smell like a donut, a cupcake, a, a walking bakery all the time, okay? So I have got mm, 10 vanilla fragrances that give you that vanilla but something else too that won't have you smelling like a piece of cake, okay? So if you are interested in seeing some fragrances that won't have you walking around smelling like your local bakery, please keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome. I do hope you consider subscribing to the channel. We have lots of fun here and we smell good too. And if you are returning, hey girl. Also, if you are new, I do hope you consider subscribing I have a goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I do hope that you are enjoying this content and want to join the family and help me reach that goal. All right, let's go. Up first is Commodity Gold. This is a warm, amber, vanillic fragrance. I honestly thought that I would like milk more, um, but this is really, really good. This is like really, I, I want to say it's a level of sophistication. And I think it's because of the amber and the benzoin that's actually in the fragrance, which gives it some depth and grounding along with the vanilla, which gives it um, not, I don't want to say like a sweet smell, but it's pleasant. Like it rounds out the benzoin. It rounds out the amber. It cuts off the harsh edges. There's a muskiness in here as well. And this fragrance also has juniper in it. This is really, really good. This is definitely unisex. Anyone can wear this. Um, office safe. Um, if you, I feel like, well, they say people in medical professions shouldn't wear fragrances, but I feel like if you did a cute little poop, poop, you know, or just at the ends of your hair or just somewhere, you know, uh, on your body that's just not, um, or on your clothes. Just give yourself a couple cute sprays or spray your scarf or something like that. Cause I know I don't like to just smell like nothing. I never have. Um, but it's not offensive whatsoever. And it's not a loud projector. Um, it's not gonna, you know, stay in a room once you leave and things like that. But it does smell very, very good. Very resinous, ambery vanilla fragrance. This is Commodity Gold. This is an oldie, but a goodie, a classic. This is Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. The ones in the black bottle are going to be the cologne intense, so they're going to give you much more longevity, much more projection than the ones in the clear bottles, because we all know that those kind of have a reputation of not lasting. But this girl's going to last on you. There's lavender in the top myrrh in the middle and then there's vanilla tonka and almond in the base this is a very nutty fragrance and a very woodsy resiny type of fragrance but there's enough vanilla in here to kind of round it out and not smell like super sweet the lavender in here also is not slapping nobody in the face okay she's um playing well with all the folks she is going to be wonderful. This fragrance is going to be wonderful for the fall and winter months. This is cozy. This is a cocooning fragrance that just envelops you and just kind of makes you feel warm and um, comforted. Like sometimes when you put on fragrances, they give you, they evoke certain emotions. Like I know certain things just make me feel happy. Certain things make me feel comforted. And this is one of those fragrances. Like I could just smell this and easily picture myself being wrapped up in the most comfortable blanket, curled up on a couch, having people serve me dinner, coffee, all of the things. I don't have to move. <laughs> but this is a really, really good one. If you have not tried this, go get your nose on this. If you have it, you already know, bring her out. She is ready to um, comfort you for this season. Okay. So this is Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. Up next is Santal Vini. This is a warm, spicy, ambery, powdery um, fragrance. There's also coconut in here, but it's not like your 
um, very forward, forward coconut. Like you can smell it, but it's not like easily discernible. It kind of just gives the fragrance a little tropical feeling, if you will, but nothing fruity. There's pepper in here, myrrh oil, obviously vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere, and cacao. This also, to me, smells a little salty, if you will. Like there's a, a salty facet in this particular fragrance. And to me, when I smell this, I just automatically think of that clean girl aesthetic. I think of white t-shirts that are crisp and freight straight from the cleaners <laughs> uh, with the starch in it and all of that. Like I just automatically think of that. And then also this too is definitely unisex. Like the vanilla and the coconut in here is not anything that, you know, would be completely off-putting for a guy. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, I wouldn't, a medical professionals, I would not wear this one. Um, there's definitely some strong accords and notes in here that might be um, a little too much but this one is a great one for the office it's a great one um, to give you kind of a vanillic flair to it with a little bit of spiciness from the pepper a little bit of woodsiness from the sandalwood and it's really good and it's not going to have you smelling like a cupcake so this is santal santal vanille by the seven virtues all right, up next, this is another one from The Seven Virtues. This is Vanilla Wood. This is probably one of their most popular fragrances. Um, it is definitely, in my opinion, a little bit more subdued. You definitely get the vanilla for sure. It's a little bit sweeter, but it's not dessert. It's not cupcake-y. Um, and then you get the woodsiness for sure. There's something that the Santal Vanille has that gives it more saltiness and more mm, more of a tropical vibe um this does not have a pepper note in it so it doesn't have that spiciness that santal vanille has this is going to be a little bit softer if i had to say santal vanille leans a little bit more masculine than vanilla wood so this is going to be your guy this is going to be your girl and then you could both go out on a date okay but this is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtue. This one might be a shock to be in this video about a vanillic fragrance that doesn't smell like a cupcake, but when I tell you there is caramel and vanilla in the base and you smell it, okay? But it's not, it's not cupcakey. It's not dessert. It's sophisticated. It's yummy. It's sweet but it's not doing the most it's not bakery shop so this is like a rose and oud fragrance but it has vanilla and caramel in the base and it is so good to me says the girl that has always been anti oud like i cannot believe myself okay but this fragrance definitely opens with oud it opens with oud you get the rose and there's supposed to be a strawberry at the top i don't necessarily smell strawberry but there is something sweet there um that's not a rosiness so it may be the strawberry in the base there's oud vanilla benzoin amber caramel and cedar and when I tell you, I feel like I smell the base the entire length of the fragrance and it just gets better and better and, and more um, deep and rich as you wear it, as those other notes just kind of fade off. And by the time it's done, I get oud and caramel on my skin. That's what I get. I get oud and caramel and probably the vanilla on my skin, which is why I'm putting it in this video. Um, this is not a safe blind buy by any means. Um, if you are new to Oud, like me, um, this is probably, mm, it's probably one of my most intense Ouds at this point. And I know that it goes much further than this. So, um, if you are new to Oud, smell it first, see if you like it, see if you can get a sample of it at your local, um, 
you know, a store, your Neiman's, your Bloomingdale's or wherever is local to you that sells it. Um, try it on your skin. See if you like it. Try it a few times because for me, that's what I had to do. I had to try her a few times before I was able to pull the trigger and say, you know what? This is nice. This is good for me. I'm, I'm enjoying the wearing experience on this one. Um, so don't count her out. Count her in. Um, but this is Mason Francis Kirk John Oud Satin Mood, if I did not mention that already. This is good. All right, we have another one from Mason Francis Kirk John, and this is a new pickup for me. It's something that has been on my wish list for a very long time, longer than Oud Satin Mood, and I got Oud Satin Mood before I got this one, which is crazy. Um, but at either rate, this one also has vanilla and caramel in the base, but it does not, um come across as a, a bakery shop fragrance. There is juniper berry and nutmeg in the top, coriander in the mid, vanilla, caramel, amber, and musk in the base. And this is just good. Now, when you, for me, when I spread this on my skin, I get something very floral. I get a floral opening, um, and I was quite shocked. But then it does you know, dry down and you get the coriander and then it goes into the base and it does develop and get sweet. Now for me, this does not get as sweet as Oud Satin Mood does, um, but it does get a little bit sweet when it gets closer to the skin. I think this, this is definitely unisex. This is definitely someone that does not like a super sweet fragrance because it's not super sweet at all. Like I feel like vanilla is just a note in perfumery that's probably in most fragrances to kind of round things out to bring stuff together kind of like when you're making a cake and you got to put the vanilla extract in it to just round everything out to bring all the stuff together it's like the glue that brings it together because so you can wear it to church you can wear it out with the girls you can wear it on a date you can just wear it when you're running errands like this is signature scent this is a signature scent very easy reach um if I had to say blind buy, I feel like it could be a safe blind buy, but for for those that aren't necessarily into a lot of perfumes, um, I would say get your nose on it first. But if you have a huge collection and you have a wide variety of things, I think this would fit easily into your collection if you don't already have it already. So this is Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirk John. Up next is The Vani by Net. I hope I'm pronouncing that right and it's not like a nette, <laughs> but I don't see any asterisk or anything like that. So at either rate, this is also going to be, in my opinion, in the same vein of a Santal Vani. This actually lists salt as a note in the top. So there's salt, mate turmeric and coriander in the mid there's magnolia and narcissus and in the base there's vanilla orris and co2 extract this is unisex 100 percent it's salty um it's earthy it's uh, aromatic um it's a little floral as well and then you get the vanilla in the dry down. So I think when I wear this, this um, get, changes on me. It gives me a wearing experience of, it starts off like very salty. Um, and then it kind of calms down and comes close to the skin and becomes somewhat vanillic and a little bit creamy. And this is really, really good. I like this one. They also have another one that's called Coco Fleur. Um, I didn't see any vanilla in the note breakdown, but I just cannot believe that there's none in there. And, but it was kind of coconutty and it just leaned a little too sweet for what I was looking for in this um, video. So this one is going to give you, um, it almost feels androgynous, if you will. It feels like when I smell it, I think it feels, it smells androgynous. Like literally anybody could wear this and smell pleasant as long as it matches with your body chemistry. So uh, this is The Vani by Net or Nette. Hopefully it's Net. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I feel like I've talked about this recently a few times and I actually have a dedicated video coming up about this fragrance and a couple of dupes that I have found for the original, which is Baby Cat. 
So look out for that. But this is Reefa Cot by Paris Corner. I am coming to love this fragrance and I cannot believe it because when I first smelled this thing, straight up gasoline is all I thought. Just why does it smell like gasoline? But all of the elemi and pepper and olibanum and everything that's in here mixed with the vanilla. Oh, it's so good. Like, I know this is one of those fragrances that can be very off-putting. It is not a safe blind buy. Um, but for those that like it and love it, this is a great fragrance a scent profile because I, I, I this is not the original obviously baby cat is the scent profile is captivating it's um I want to I want to say disturbing but I don't want to say it in a bad in a bad way but it just you know activates the senses and it's kind of like what is that like what are you wearing what is the combination of that oh my goodness and you know it's going to smell different on different people obviously and it's going to be different to other people's noses but it's so good it's so good to me i did not like it in the beginning i took a chance on it and bought it and i've been mixing it and layering it which is why i have the dent that i have um and i've also been wearing it on its own so and this bottle was 25 dollars. i'm making a backup just in case you know you guys try and sell her out or the price goes up because people start loving it because I need another one. Okay. All right. So this is Reefa Cot by Paris Corner. Up next is an, also a new pickup for me. Uh, this is the Vanille Leather by BDK. This was a blind buy. And I will say again, like I said before, it was not an initial love for me. Um, it's not an initial love for me, but I do like the fragrance. I will say that since I've had it for the short time that I've had it, it has already started to change and I think that's just with you know spraying it out I always spray out my bottles um, and getting some air in the bottle and allowing it to just start you know developing more and more and more but this one also opens floral to me there's pink pepper at the top I am a tuberose girl so there's some tuberose in here uh, jasmine and orange blossom and then there's vanilla orris leather benzoin cedar and patchouli in the base the i feel like if there were not vanilla in here i would have a hard time with this fragrance but with the added note of the vanilla it kind of just take the edge off of all of these um dominant fragrances like leather benzoin cedar patchouli like those are fragrances or notes and accords that are um they're dominant like they be out here they do what they do they like i'm here i'm standing on business um 10 toes down so what's up like the vanilla just comes and shaves off the edges and so for me this is definitely a unisex fragrance it is something that you wear when you want to command attention it's something that um is not a safe blind buy i'm trying to think of where i would wear this to I feel like I would wear this to like a rock concert or, um, you know, just somewhere where I want to present as don't mess with me. Okay. Because I don't wear sweet fragrances. I'm about business. Okay. <laughs> but this is good. It is, it is good. It's changing. And I do think that once, um, as I continue to wear this, I'll probably fall more and more and more in love with it, but it is a challenging fragrance for sure. And I'm not mad about my purchase whatsoever, but please get your nose on this. Do not buy blind buy this. Um, it's not safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. But this is a Vanille Leather by BDK. All right, we have Note Vanille by M. Mikuloff. This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. There is a rum, there's cognac, there's amber. And even though it opens up with like mandarin and citruses in the top, they're not like bam in your face. It's not like spraying Eden Juicy Apple or anything like that. Like it's very subtle. And this 
is spectacular. Um, this to me smells like, I want to say a wedding scent, but I want to say a guest of a wedding, a guest of a wedding in the evening time. So you want to go somewhere, you want to smell pretty, you want to be a part of the occasion, note the knee. This smells like red carpet. Um, it smells like, you know, fancy dinner. Like it's just good and pleasant and, and soft, but it does have some good longevity. I will also spray this on to run errands just because I like it that much, even though to me it's a sophisticated scent. It doesn't belong in the grocery store. Um, but because I like to smell it when I want to smell it, I'll put it on. I don't care. On the dry down of this, you really start to get those um, al alcoholic vibes, if you will. So the cognac comes through, the rum comes through, through, the vanilla comes through, the amber. Like it just continues to intensify on the skin, on my skin. So if you have not tried this, I recommend this, highly recommend this. This is a 10 out of 10 vanilla and it's not your typical vanilla. Like it's not, you know, when you pick this up, you wouldn't be like, oh, this is a vanilla fragrance, but you have to sit with it, enjoy it and enjoy the wearing experience of it. And oh my God, enjoy the dry down. Okay. So try this out. If you can get a decant of it, if you have it, you already know, you see my juice is dark and she ready to go. Uh, but this is M. Mikulov's Note Vanille. The last one that I'm going to share with you, honestly, I probably should have put it first, but it is such a spectacular fragrance. It does not list vanilla in the note structure, but I just cannot believe that there is no vanilla. I will absolutely not believe there's no vanilla in here, but this is Amber Nuit by Christian Dior. This is a little... Mm, 0.25 ounce bottle I got with a purchase from Dior and I have tons of these to the point that I don't even need to buy the full bottle I have like seven of these um but this fragrance you guys is spectacular it opens definitely citrusy there's grapefruit and bergamot in the top there's damask rose pink pepper in the mid ambergris cedarwood guyac wood and patchouli in the base. Obviously, I'm getting these notes from Fragrantica. Um, it's called Amber Nuit. And there has to be amber in here, but it's not listed in the note breakdown. There has got to be vanilla. It's so sweet. It's so warm. It's enveloping. And when I say it's so sweet, I don't mean cupcakey. I don't mean cupcakey. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of commodity gold in that level of sweet. Or even like a... Um, cashmere and Paolo santo um from from donna karen and so you put this on and you just have the most magical aura of vanilla and amber around you i remember when i first sprayed this before i ever got any of these samples i went to the dior store to buy um a notebook they have the prettiest notebooks and i was giving it as a gift and i just sprayed this on and I left the store and I walked over to another store. It was like in a, um, there's several shopping stores around. And I walked into another store and as I came in, the guy was like, you smell so good. What do you have on? And I was like, oh, I just sprayed on something over at the Christian Dior store. I think it's called Amber Nuit. And from that moment, I have been hooked. But when I seen that price tag, I was like, mm, we gonna pray about it. So, you know, I would order from, you know, the Dior website from time to time and they give you these with your purchase. So I've been collecting these. Okay. So I absolutely love this. Mm. And it almost smells a little like you get the pepper and it's spicy, but it smells like there could be some cognac or, you know, liquor or rum or something in it that's not listed it's intoxicating. It is beautiful. It is perfect for fall, for winter, um, date night, cozying up. Like this is something that can like grab somebody's attention and make them turn around and be like, what's going on? What is going on? Who are you? What are you wearing? What is this? So if you have not tried this, 
go to your local Dior counter and put your nose on Amber Nuit, okay? They have a lot of other fragrances that I, I feel like have been viral and, you know, TikTok, whatever. Try this and let me know. Let me know what you think. This is Amber Nuit by Christian Dior. This is the Privé line. Alrighty, guys, that is what I have for you guys today. Those are some vanillas that I picked out that I feel like are sophisticated, that are not cupcakey, but still give you that vanilla vibe. They're still maybe a little sweet or mailing a little salty. I've got something in here for everybody. Drop me a line down below and let me know what your favorite vanilla fragrance is that doesn't smell like a pastry, okay? Let me know if you have any of these. Let's continue the conversation down in the comments. And again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel as I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And with that being said, make sure you are being kind to yourself. Make sure you're being kind to others. And peace and love, y'all. The world needs it. Bye.